What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to your Pilates meets strength workout. If we've not met before, my name's Margaret. I'm 26. I'm a certified Pilates instructor currently living in Colorado. All you need for this workout is going to be a set of medium heavy-ish weights. I've got 10 pound dumbbells, so go ahead and grab those. We're going to jump right into things. We're gonna go ahead and get started today just with a little bit of a warm up. It's gonna be quick. If you feel like you need a little bit more, go ahead and pause this video, do a little bit more warming up and then jump into it. Um, we'll come to our mat feet about hips distance apart. If you'd feel comfortable going a little bit wider, go wider. We're gonna take an inhale, soft bend at the knees. We're gonna circle the arms around and up overhead, reaching the hands up towards the ceiling. Nice big stretch. Good. And then we're going to exhale. Just take the arms down. We'll do that three more times. Inhaling to bend at the knees, reaching the arms up. Good. And then exhaling to press those arms down. That's three. This is going to be two. Good. This will be our last one. Lift up and then take it down. And I kind of lied. We're going to do one more. Lift those arms up and around, pausing at the top, pressing the tailbone down to the mat, reaching the arms up overhead. We'll take a big inhale. And then when you're ready, you'll exhale to hinge at the hips. We'll forward fold coming down towards the mat. Your hands will come down. Your feet will stay right where they're at. Use your next inhale to bend at the knees, coming down into a nice deep squat. You'll exhale, press down into the heels, press the hips back up, back into your forward fold. Let's go two more like that. Inhale, bend at the knees. Exhale, press it right back up. And we'll go last one, bend at the knees. And then press it right back up. All of a sudden I have all these hairs over my leggings. Okay, when you're ready, we're just gonna take an inhale down at the bottom. You'll exhale, tuck chin to chest. You're gonna roll yourself all the way up to stand and we're gonna go ahead and get into things. Slightly different format than what we've done before. Uh, the first two sets are gonna be one circuit, uh, five exercises repeated twice through. I don't know if that's confusing, but we're gonna do that first part as the weights part. The second part's gonna be mat and then the last circuit will be core. Go ahead and grab onto your weights. The five exercises that we're going to be doing right here are just nice basic movements. We'll start off with the feet in parallel, all 10 toes point forward. We'll pull those weights up to the shoulders. We'll just take a squat. Okay. And you don't have to start yet. We've got a couple of seconds, but that's exercise one. Exercise two, we'll keep the feet about hips distance. We're going to hinge at the hips. We'll take a deadlift. Okay. And then exercise three, we're going to do some step back lunges. We're going to head into that squat in three, two, and one, you're gonna inhale, bend at those knees, exhale, press it right back up. And I'll be honest, we're gonna get cut a little bit short on this minute, that's okay. We'll make it through. Good. Okay, every time that you stand up out of that squat, you're driving down into your heels, staying connected into the calves, hamstrings, and glutes. We're pressing not only the weight of the dumbbells up, but also the weight of our body. <sighs> okay, we're more than halfway there. And I said, this first exercise, we're getting cut a little bit short. I didn't get to counting as fast as I should. My B, everybody, my B. <sighs> Good. All right, we just have five, four, three, two, and one, go ahead and bring things in. We'll keep the feet about hips distance. We'll take the weight so they come in front of us. We'll just start to hinge at the hips, taking our deadlift in about 10 seconds, okay? So just take a deep breath. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Soft bend at the knees, take those weights forward. You'll inhale, keeping the spine in neutral. I want you to point your gaze down and a little bit forward as you reach the weights down towards your feet. Big exhale, you press down into the heels. You're gonna use the strength of the backside body to lift right back up. An issue that a lot of us face in a deadlift is that we want to look up, like to look at ourselves in the mirror. Don't look up because that's gonna crane your neck. It's not gonna feel so nice. And that's how a lot of people um, start to get pain in their low back when they deadlift. Um, you always wanna think as your, of your head as an extension of your spine. So if your spine is nice and flat, it's neutral as you're lowering down, wouldn't you want your neck to be a neutral too? That answer is yes. Remember, questions always rhetorical, the answers are always yes. Good, five, 
four, three, two, and one. We'll stand all the way up, take a deep breath, okay? Weights are gonna stay in your hands. I'll give you the option to take them up by these shoulders. We'll start by keeping our right foot forward, left foot's gonna step back. We'll take a lunge from there. In five, four, three, two, and one, pressing down into that right heel. You're gonna inhale, step your left foot back. Big exhale, you're coming back up to center. Inhale, we go back. Exhale, we come up. And we'll hit the other side once we move through this circuit for a second time. Good. If the weights ever become too much, you're more than welcome to just toss them off to the side. I'm nervous up here <laughs> doing stuff with weights and standing. Um, if you haven't watched my previous couple of videos, I got my reformer and now I'm like elevated up on a table, elevated like maybe a foot and a half off of the ground. And that extra foot, I don't know what it is. It makes me feel like I can no longer balance. <laughs> Good, five, four, three, two, last one. Awesome. You're gonna stand all the way up, take a deep breath. Good, okay. <laughs> From here, we're gonna um, break our way down into kneeling just to do two upper body exercises. We'll start off in a shoulder press. Weights can come back up to the shoulders. We're gonna rotate out and press up in two and one. Weights to the shoulders, you're gonna press the weight. Wait, you're gonna open up, press the weights up, pull it back down, and then you can bring it all the way home if you'd like to do it like that. If there's a way that you prefer to do a shoulder press, go ahead and take it that way. Good. I kind of like doing the little rotation at the shoulder, but if there's a way that you prefer, go ahead and do that. <laughs> this is where I'm like, oh shit, 10 pounds. It's a lot. It's a lot on the shoulders. And I haven't filmed one of these workouts, honestly, I think since January. So I'm so sorry about that, that we missed two weeks of Pilates strength, but I think you guys have made it through just fine. I didn't get any complaints about it. Good. We just have five, four, three, two, and one. We'll take everything down. You can put the weights off to the side for just a moment. We have one more exercise right here. We're just gonna do alternating bicep curls, and then we'll take it back from the top, going into our squats, okay? We have five, four, three, two, and that last one. Grab back onto those weights. We're gonna pin the elbows into our sides, and I want you to do almost like a windshield wiper across the body to do one curl and then the other. And if I haven't said it yet, I don't think that I have. Um, I'm mirroring you guys. <laughs> I do that in my virtual classes and it's just a lot easier for me to continue to mirror no matter the medium that I'm filming in or else it just gets way too confusing for me. <laughs> Good. Man, these workouts are so hard. Good. Okay, we've got about 10 seconds right here, a little bit more than. Keep sticking with me. It's gonna be a quick transition back up to stand. We go right into our squats. We have two and one. Good, take the weights down carefully. You're just gonna stand right back up. The carefully cue is more for me, more for me that I don't tip myself over. <laughs> okay, we go back into our squats. Feet go about hips distance. We'll pull the weights up to the shoulders in five, four, three, two, and no one. Take those weights up. You're gonna inhale, bend at the knees, sit those hips down and back. Big exhale, press down into the heels. Stand all the way back up. Inhale, we lower. Exhale, we lift. And you just keep it moving from right there. I'm gonna link the playlist that I'm listening to in the description, because I love it. <laughs> I love it. Good. Every time you go back into that squat, I want you to imagine that you're trying to sit back into a chair. 
Okay, and just check in with your lower back, especially if you're somebody that you know, you kind of arch your back back naturally. Arch your back back. <laughs> um, just check in there, All right? See if you can pull hips to the ribs a little bit more to engage a little bit deeper into our core. Whew, we have five, four, three, two, and one, we're gonna stand all the way up. Take a second. You can put the weights to the side just for a moment. We'll get back into our deadlift. Feet stay where they're at. We're gonna hinge at the hips. In five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and grab onto those weights. Weights go right in front of the um, legs. Roll the shoulders down and back. Draw the belly button in. You're gonna inhale, hinge at the hips, sending the hips back. And then exhale, we press into the heels, come right back up. Now remember, just be mindful of where your neck is moving in space. I don't want you to be craning your neck. Like, and if you need to look at your form, maybe look for the first rep and then adjust your gaze. I think this is why a lot of us struggle with deadlifts is because we can't really see what's happening. All right, about 15 seconds right here. A little bit less then. All right, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome, we're gonna stand all the way up. You can keep your weights with you. I'm gonna flip to the side. We'll take our step back lunge, this time left foot forward, right foot's gonna step back. And you can either have the weights down by your side or you can pull them up by the shoulders. I kind of like, like up by the shoulders. Three, two, and one. Left foot goes forward. Maybe you wanna pull those weights up. We're gonna step back on the right foot and then oop, exhale, stand all the way back up. Inhale, reach it back. Exhale, stand it up. And it can be a big lunge. It can be a little lunge. If you feel a little bit wobbly, just check in with the feet. You always wanna think about your feet um, working on train tracks instead of on a tightrope. I think sometimes uh, we bring the stance in a little bit too close and that's where we start to lose our balance. I'm getting sweaty. How are you guys doing? It was like so cold in here filming before and now I'm like dying a little bit. All right, just five, four, three, two, and one. You're gonna stand all the way up, make your way down to the mat. Okay, both knees go down. You've got the knees about hips distance and then again, you're just checking in with the rest of your body, tucking the tailbone under, finding a neutral position with the hips. Whew. We'll take that shoulder press in three, two, last one. Grab onto those weights, taking them up by the shoulders. You can open out and then press up, pull back down, and then squeeze the arms in. I kind of like that. You can also just go to shoulder height and then keep it there. That's fine. I like being able to come all the way down. <laughs> and you almost kind of get like, a rep in the negative space, right? So as you're pulling the arm down, you have to rotate in through the shoulder and then open out, press back up. I kind of like that, but um, the cool part about movement is that it's not gonna feel the same in all of our bodies. It's gonna be slightly different. So I can tell you to do something and maybe it works for me, but it might not work for you and that's okay. That's okay. Am I stalling or what? Good. Is it obvious I was putting off filming this workout? Okay, we have three, two, and one. Take things down, put those weights off to the side. Not because I don't like these workouts. I do, they're challenging for me, but they're hard. And sometimes I don't like to do hard stuff. Oh, my life is so hard. Okay, we do our alternating bicep curls in three, two, and one, grab back onto those weights. Last movement we do here, we're gonna go, oh, excuse me, curl across the body and then alternate over to the other side. Curl across and lower, across 
and lower. You'll keep it going like that. Good. Perfect. Guy who tried to hurt me with a word, goodbye. Do you like Dua Lipa? I love Dua Lipa. Also, it's really weird not filming a workout for a while, going back to film. I'm like, am I being weird? <laughs> like, am I saying stupid stuff? <laughs> oh, gosh. We have five, four, three, two, and last one. You're gonna take your weights, put them off to the side. Once your weights are down, we're gonna make our way uh, down towards our mat. We're gonna come down onto the right hip, right forearm's gonna come down. We'll extend those legs out nice and long. We're gonna lift and lower through this left leg in two and one. Take the left leg, you're gonna lift up and lower down. Lift up, lower down. Good, okay. So we hit the big muscle groups with our, our first kind of lifting circuit. Now we're gonna get into the smaller stabilizing muscles with our Pilates circuit. Good, so we're gonna get into our piriformis muscle, which is right about here, the muscle that burns out as we move through these. Good. And just keep moving. If it starts to feel a little bit uncomfortable to be lifted up here on the forearm, I want you to drop all the way down to your side. Let's take it from right there. That'll work perfectly fine. Good, just four, three, two, and last one. Awesome, you're gonna take everything down. Take a deep breath, okay? One more thing we're gonna do right there. We're gonna roll back onto the hip. You'll lift this leg up. We'll bring the bottom leg in to meet it, okay? It's gonna be a little bit of maneuvering around, but we're gonna hit the inner thigh on that right leg in three, two, and no one. I want you to lift your left leg up, roll back onto your hip. We've still got that right arm there for a little bit of support. I'm gonna roll straight off of this. We'll squeeze the right leg in, drop it back down. Squeeze it in, release it down. Good, now this top leg, it can be lifted way up here. If it's more here and you're squeezing up to there, that's perfect. Good, I always want you to find your range of motion and work from there. And your range of motion is gonna look different from mine. And that's perfectly fine. I would honestly prefer if yours looked different than mine. Good. Whew. All right. We've got about 15 seconds right here. Whew. Take some deep breaths. We've got it. Just five, four, three, two, and no one. Take everything down, take a deep breath. You're doing good, okay. From right here, we're gonna roll over so that we come onto our back. Let me just take my timer with us. Uh, we'll keep working through our left leg. We're gonna take a single leg bridge. So lay all the way down, hands down by your sides. We're gonna lift up through that right leg. We have two and one. Big exhale, pressing into the left heel, you're gonna lift up. Inhale, you're gonna lower everything down, tapping the tailbone, tapping the right toes. Big exhale, you lift up. Inhale, you take it right back down. And down. We'll go up and down. And you just keep going like that. Okay, we'll feel a lot of glute here, especially because we started with squats and deadlifts right? Those muscles are already pretty warm. They're ready to help you keep working. Let me see my timer. Okay. About 20 seconds here. Good. <laughs> Where's my timer? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one, we lower everything down, take a second. You're gonna hug knees into the chest, take a deep breath, and then from right here, it's gonna be a nice smooth transition. We're gonna come up into a tabletop 
position, okay? We'll keep the right knee down. Both hands are gonna go down. Uh, left leg goes back. You have three, two, and one. The timer went off before I did, so just stick with me. From here, you'll inhale, bend at the elbows as you lift the leg up. Big exhale, you'll press away. You can tap your left toes down. We'll go down and press up. Good, okay, so we get to burn out through the left side before we hit the right. Here we're getting a little bit of upper body, so the shoulder presses, the bicep curls that we did, they're gonna come into play right here. The one bad thing about being up on this table is that it's leather, so it slips much more easily than my mat. I'm actually gonna grab a towel, but you guys keep moving. Keep moving, because my towel is just right here. <laughs> I'm trying my best to just, you know, not fall off my table today. Okay, we have five, four, three, two, and one. You're gonna press all the way away, pulling your left knee in. From here, we drop down onto the right forearm and the left hand. You're gonna kick that left leg back, open up at the hip. We'll lower and lift. Okay, we've got a little bit of time. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. We've got the right forearm down, left hand down. Left leg shoots back. I want you to open up the hip like you're trying to stack your left leg on top of your right. Drop the left toes down. Try to tap the mat. Probably won't happen. That's okay. Exhale, we lift up. I can't tap the mat. It's because you're trying to stack your hips. So if you can tap the mat, something else is going wrong. Lift up, lower down. Now, sometimes we'll start to feel tension building through the left side of the neck. If you feel that happening, drop your gaze to your right forearm. Good, now I don't know if it's a combination of what I've already done today or just that we're really burning out this left side, but I'm feeling a little toasty, just a little bit. Nice thing is we only do this one time through. Good, all right, we're almost there, just five, four, three, two, and one, we'll take everything in, take a deep breath. I'm gonna move this over to this side. <laughs> and then we'll get set up on the other side. So you're gonna come down onto your left hip. Left forearm's gonna come down, okay? And we'll prop ourselves up right here. Legs are gonna reach out nice and long, flex through your feet. We lift and lower in two and one. Take that right leg, you lift and lower, lift and lower, just checking in with the left side of the body. There should be a triangle of space in between you and your mat. So the armpit is a point of that triangle, the hip, a point of that triangle, the elbow is a point of that triangle. Sometimes if you take this right leg up too high, I'll show you what happens. You lift up and then you dip down into your shoulder and into your left side. I don't want that to happen. If you look like this, we've gone too far. You'll know you've gone too far because it won't feel comfortable. Good. And easiest way to fix that is just to shorten up that range of motion, right? There's power in having control over your movements. There's power in tiny movements. Good, even just one set of this is like a little bit rough. <laughs> Good, but we'll make it through. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Take everything in, dropping that right leg down. Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. Now remember, second one, it's gonna be a little bit more inner thigh on that left leg. I'm gonna scooch forward or else I will fall off of this table. And this is just my timer right here, just so that you guys know. Usually I have it somewhere else. I don't know why it's not today. Okay, we have three, two, and one. You're gonna lift up through that right leg, roll the hips back, and then bring your left leg up to meet it. Both hands can stay down on the mat for extra support. Left forearm, definitely all the way down on the mat. I like right fingertips, just a nice gentle touch. And then remember, if your leg doesn't lift up this high, it's okay, it's okay. You can lower it down and just squeeze up from right there. You still get a lot of work. Not only are you gonna feel inner thigh, you're gonna feel hip on the right side for sure. We also get a little bit of oblique, okay? The fun thing about Pilates is that it's all core. Every exercise initiates from the core. Every exercise is kind of, um, core dominated. All Pilates is, is doing weird stuff with your arms and your legs and having your trunk stabilize you. Good, we've got about 10 seconds right here. 
Just five, four, three, two, and one. Everything comes down. You're gonna drop the legs down, roll over onto your back. I'm trying to think where a good place is for me to put this, not where it is. Okay, we're gonna lay all the way down. We keep working through that right side. Right foot comes down, left knee is gonna lift up above the hip. Hands down by your sides, you have two, and one, big exhale, press into that heel, you're gonna lift up. Inhale, we drop the tailbone, you tap the toes. Big exhale, lift up. Inhale, release it down, I feel a little bit weird. Let's see if I can adjust this. Lift up, lower down. Lift up, lower down, good. Okay, there's a little bit of space between your chin and your chest, so I want you to be sure as you're pressing up into this bridge here that you're not pressing your, um, chest into your face. It's not about having the biggest movement always, right? It's about exerting the most control, right? And here we get a little bit of power as you press that big exhale or a hot breath. Let's see, like that. <laughs> Good. I know we're more than halfway, but let me check. All right. So we just have about five, four, three, two and one go ahead and take things down from here you get to roll yourself up and then we're going to pop up and over so that we come up into a tabletop position all right there we go we go both hands down we keep working through our right leg so left knee goes down right leg kicks back we have three two and one i'm flipping my fingertips in a little bit here we're going to inhale tip down and then exhale, press away. Right leg is serving as a little bit of a counterbalance. Good, and as you come down, think about creating a triangle with your nose and your two hands, okay? If it's more comfortable for you to take more of a tricep push-up, I'd say typically it's not more comfortable for people. You can go there if you want to though. I've got fingertips just slightly turned in elbows turning out. That's where I feel best. Good, about 15 seconds right here. Keep breathing, keep moving. Maybe pressing the top of the left foot down into the mat. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. Pull things in, take a breath. Last exercise of this circuit. We're coming down onto the left forearm, right hand, right leg kicks back. We're gonna lift and lower. You've got a second, so get situated. We have four, three, two, and one. Dropping onto that left forearm and right hand. Left knee stays down, right leg kicks back. Open up at that right hip, stacking the right hip on top of the left. Try to lower the right foot down in the direction of the mat. You're gonna exhale, lift up. Inhale, we take it down. Exhale, we lift it up. Now, typically I have you either working up to hip height or from hip height and above. Here, we get to go below hip height and then maybe above hip height, okay? So we get a lot of negative space as we lower the right leg down, which is fun. Right, you're having fun, I can feel it. Awesome. Good news is for the final circuit, we get to do this series of five. You're gonna love it if you haven't done it before. Good, just give me five, four, three, two, and one, take everything in, take a deep breath. Okay, I'm gonna put this towel off to the side. We're gonna lay all the way down for this final circuit. It is five minutes of core work. We'll lay ourselves all the way down and we're gonna be starting off in a single leg stretch. Right knee pulls in, left leg goes out long. You have three, two, and one. Pull the right leg in, shoot the left leg out. You can come up into a crunch. Exhale, switch the legs. Inhale right there, exhale, switch the legs. Okay, now if you're like me and your hips a little bit clicky today, as you shoot your leg out, you're gonna angle it up instead of trying to shoot it straight out in line with the rest of your body. <sighs> yeah, I don't know what's going on with my hip. I need to do some more stretches, I think. <laughs> Usually that kind of click of the hip, it's sometimes like um, muscle fiber kind of 
moving across the bone. So it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's not like your hip is popping out of its socket, right? But if it's ever painful, obviously talk to your doctor. <laughs> Things I thought I'd never say in a video. <laughs> Good. We have five, four, three, two, yeah, no one, take everything in, pull your knees in, drop your head back, take a deep breath, okay? We're gonna be moving into our double leg stretch. So we'll start by curling up into a little tiny ball. I know you guys have done this with me before. We'll go in five, four, three, two, and one. Pull knees to nose, reach your hands out towards those ankles, big inhale, reach the legs out, reach the arms back, and then exhale, circle the arms around and out, pulling knees to nose. You can drop your head down at any time. That's typically where I like to take double leg stretch. And I'm sure you've realized by now, it's not a stretch. <laughs> it's not a stretch at all. Maybe a little bit of a stretch, right? We get length right here through the body. Sometimes that's considered a stretch, but it's also pulling our pelvis and our rib cage away from each other, right? So that when we do pull in, we get all that power in our core. Okay, about 15 seconds right here. This is about the point that I regret ever teaching the series of five. Oh my gosh, okay, we have five, four, three, two, and one, take everything in, hug knees to chest, dropping the head down, take a deep breath. If I'm stopping before the timer's going off in the video, I apologize, but you understand, right? <laughs> You're doing it with me, so you know it's a little bit rough. Okay, next up we have hamstring pull, right leg goes up, left leg shoots out. You have three, two, and when we're reaching up for that right ankle, left leg is out nice and long. You're gonna exhale, switch the legs. Inhale and then exhale, switch. We switch and switch. Switch, 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 switch. And you just keep going like that. You can keep it at a nice slow pace if you need to lower your hands more down to your calves or to your hamstrings. Go ahead and go for that. I'm gonna drop my head down. <laughs> Whenever I get to the point of filming, it's like, it's been a day of teaching, right? So I get to a point that I'm like, I cannot physically hold my head up anymore. I'm tired. So that's okay if you're feeling that way too. Some of you I know are doing really good and coming to these workouts like every day and you've become, you know, regular exercises or uh, exercisers. And I love that for you. And I'm happy that you're here. We've got five, four, three, two, and one, pull the knees in, drop the head back. Okay, that's three of five. We have two more exercises to go, and then we get to stretch. You guys are right there. You're doing so good. I know that these workouts are tough ones. Okay, legs are gonna come up. You can keep your head down. We'll do a double leg lower and lift in. Four, three, two, and one. I'm gonna keep my head down because I'm tired. Inhale, we lower the legs down. Exhale, you pull in from the low abs, pulling hips and ribs closer to each other, lifting the legs back up. We drop it down, we'll lift it up. Now, if you feel like your low back is lifting, sometimes it's helpful to come up into that crunch. And I like hands out by the sides. I feel like that helps me to find a little bit more length. You can also do hands behind the head. That's totally fine. Good, wherever you feel comfortable, or you can just keep your head down, make the movement a little bit shorter. That's fine too, right? It's all about your comfort level and finding what works best for you. Good. Good, okay, we have 13 seconds. Whoo, just five, four, three, two, and no one, pull the knees in, drop the head back, take a second, breathe. One more exercise and then you get to stretch, you guys are right there. Final push, it's gonna be a crisscross. More commonly known as a bicycle crunch. Knees are gonna come up above the hips, hands behind the head, elbows out nice and wide. You have four, three, two, and one. Knees above the hips, hands behind the head, open up through those elbows. You're gonna inhale, twist over towards the right, exhale through center, twist to the left. We switch 
and switch. I'm gonna give you a fun little thing to do right at the halfway point. It'll make this feel like it's going by even quicker. I promise. Good. Okay, next time that you come over to the right, you get to pause. You're gonna kick the leg up, reach the hand up, pull it back in, switch through center, kick the leg, reach the hand, pull it home, switch to center. My body, my mind did not match up there. Pull it to center, reach, lower, switch, reach, lower, switch, good. For five, four, three, two, and one, you bring everything in, hug the knees into your chest, take a deep breath. I'm gonna open my knees out just a little bit because my hips are doing weird stuff. Okay, take a deep breath, rock the knees forward, pull them back. And then when you're ready from right here, we're just gonna roll ourselves up pretty gently. We'll pop up into a tabletop position. Both hands will come down, both knees will go back and we'll just take a couple rounds of cat-cow. Inhaling to dip the belly down, we'll open up the chest. Let your belly button just kind of pull down to the mat, right? We spend so much time in Pilates trying to find that control and engaging and strengthening our core that it's important to find, um, you know, the counter stretch and a release. Okay, when you're ready, exhale, press into the heels of the hands, curve the spine up, looking to the tops of the legs. Two more like that. We inhale, dip down, open up the chest, and then exhale, press away. Good, let's go for one more. Dip it down. And then press away. Good, with that last one, we reset to neutral. You're gonna reach your hips all the way back to your heels, arms go long in front of you. Just sit back into that child's pose, maybe lowering your forehead down to the mat. Take a big inhale, fill everything up with air. And then you can exhale out, let it all go. Good. When you're ready to come up out of this, just start to walk your hands in towards your knees. Find that nice, tall, seated position. You can take any other stretches that you feel like you need, but you guys made it all the way to the end. Good, good work today, as always. Remember, you're awesome. You can do anything you put your mind to, and I will see you in our next video. I just get resist, yo. You got me drunk in love, drunk in love. I can't sleep. I need to sober up.